today I'm gonna, what I'm gonna argue is that uh, intellectual property is incompatible with capitalism. We're in favor of capitalism by which we mean private property and we're against, or I'm against, intellectual property. find defenders of intellectual property, some patent lawyers and even some libertarians, and they get really indignant if you call it a monopoly. It's not a monopoly, it's a property right. If it's a monopoly, then, you know, your use of your, of your car, your, your car's a monopoly. Well, uh, one of the first patent statutes was England's uh, Statute of Monopoly, 1624. Uh, you know, they, they didn't really use words back then. You, we, remember, we used to have a Department of War in America. Now it's the Department of Defense, right? The, the old status were much better. They're more honest. But this patent statute in England, the statute of monopolies, it was a way to raise money for the crown without having to impose a tax. They sold these monopoly grants by charging fees to people for employment. The roots of copyright literally lie in censorship. So you had these guilds sort of rising uh, when printing became easier, right? And then the, the church and the government started getting worried, oh, we can't control official and political thought as easily. You know, we, can't, we can't control what gets approved thought. So they, they passed the copyright statutes to basically help limit what, what could be produced and said and what, what information people could copy and share with each other. Uh, there were exclusive monopolies that protected various goods and services for a limited period of time. So there were monopolies. Uh, the word patent actually, as a, a historian of Patricia Seed notes, the word patent comes from the Latin patente, uh, signifying open as dis distinct to closed letters or private letters. So there are open letters granted by the monarch that gave someone authorization to do something, like to be the only person to sell a certain good in a certain area. Copyright slows down new ideas and their diffusion. It, it reminds me of modern economists who talk about uh, and all these scientific metaphors about the economy, right? We need to cool down an overheating economy, right? Basketball games have to move from all these scientific terms. We invite your apprehensive listeners. So what about intellectual property? We have a similar situation. We have America and its lackey, the World Trade Organization, pressuring other countries like Russia, India, China to adopt our draconian IP laws, right? Uh, China is now actually coming, uh, coming into shape a little bit. They're, they're now third in place behind Japan and America in terms of patent filings. It's a radical shift from five or ten years ago.